a really high quality update. I'm just about to go to bed, but I did want to update because um, for the week because I did not update this weekend at all because I went home for the weekend and I didn't bring my camera and I didn't read it all um, because I was studying for a test and I had a lot of stuff to do while I was home this weekend. But I'm going to try and finish Stalking Jack the Ripper as soon as possible. I will see if that happens. There's so many books I want to read and it's just hard to find the time but I have mapped up my schedule for the week and like it should be a more calm week with some more free time but it also is the start of NaNoWriMo this week so like we'll see. I don't know how it'll go but I'm excited to start NaNoWriMo and I'm excited to try and get Stalking Jack the Ripper done. Probably won't actually get it done by Halloween like the original goal but that's fine. Um, and I'm also almost done with Pride and Prejudice. That one I will finish this week. I think I have four hours of the audiobook left and um, the discussion for that is on Saturday so I have to finish it. Um, but yeah, I hope to find more time to read this week. We'll see. Um, these reading vlogs will probably get more exciting over like winter break when I have all the time in the world to read. Uh, but yeah, I will check in tomorrow on Tuesday. Hello, it is Tuesday morning and I thought I would update um, a little bit in case I forget to later today, which is likely, um, but I got to page 110 of Stalking Jack the Ripper. I am very thoroughly enjoying it. I think it is so, like, so interesting. It's such a unique story, um, and I love the main characters. I really, really love Audrey Rose. Um, definitely, I feel her personality a lot. I think she's super cool. And just like all the medical terminology or like experiments that they're doing, I find so fascinating and I love that they're so descriptive. Carrie Maniscalco definitely did her research, but really, really enjoying it so far. And I'm almost done with Pride and Prejudice. I think I have maybe 50 pages left. Um, yeah, I've got about 50 pages left and that's like two hours-ish in the audiobook. Um, and I am so excited to finish this up because um, I, the ending of this book is my favorite part. I think so much happens and it's so much fun. When I was listening this morning I started to get all the drama with uh, Lydia and Wickham is all starting to go down and I'm so excited to see how this all turns out. I know how it all turns out, but I'm excited to read it again. Hello, it is still Tuesday, but I wanted to talk about something on here really quick. Um, I don't think that clip ever went up because I lost like all the footage for the reading vlog. I can't remember if it's in the last one. But my mother was kind enough to get Marcus Zusak's Bridge of Clay, his new book, signed for me. Um, and I even talked to him on FaceTime. It was probably like top five greatest moments of my life. Um, and I went home this weekend so I brought the book back up with me. Originally I was thinking I would drop like my, t my current TBR and just go straight into that and read that because I'm so excited for it. But I was thinking about it and I think I'm actually going to save it for either Thanksgiving or winter break. So I can like really give it my 100% full attention and get it done within a couple days rather than like the three weeks it would probably take me right now. I'm so excited to read it and like can we talk about the most beautiful cover I have ever seen. I just, I love it. I'm so excited but I think I am going to save it so I can really take my time and um, read it without any other distractions like with school and stuff. So yeah, that was just my little update. I have not read any more since I updated because it's only a couple hours later but I will probably update you tomorrow. Hello, a little reading update. I finished, I finished Pride and Prejudice uh, this morning and I really, really enjoyed it, of course. This is a story I know super well, so it was a very easy read, and but still such an enjoyable read. I love Elizabeth and Darcy so much. I'm going to probably watch the movie this weekend and I know I'm gonna watch Pride and Prejudice and Zombies because I just love that adaption so much. I think it's so much fun. I've read that book too highly recommend <laughs> but yeah I'm this is probably I know I've, I'm only two Jane Austen books in so far but I definitely see Pride and Prejudice is still being like my favorite but we'll see I believe next is Mansfield Park I'd have to look then I am 150 pages into this still I wanted to finish 
sooner rather than later but it was Halloween last night and I chose to watch Supernatural last night um, and eat Halloween candy instead of read but that's okay because I love Supernatural um, so yeah I hopefully will finish stalking Jack the Ripper before this vlog ends but we'll see it's already Thursday so but yeah I will update you probably tomorrow so I'm going to wrap up this reading vlog that will be going up late once again. I think I might have to look at adjusting my every Sunday schedule. Not sure what I'll do yet, I haven't decided. But I am just about to finish Stalking Jack the Ripper and I literally love it so much. Um, I also picked up the Leah Michelle memoir once again because I ordered a paper copy and there's so many pictures in there that I missed out on. So I'm just reading that again because why not? I really enjoyed it the first time. Um, and I have no idea what I'm going to pick up next. So I will just tell you about that in the next reading vlog. Um, but I think I'm going to do a 24 hour readathon this weekend because I have a three day weekend. And you know, what else do you do with a three day weekend? Um, so that vlog will definitely be coming soon. I don't know if I will forgo the next reading vlog because of that. We'll see. But either way, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.